Hey everybody, it's Matthew here. I want to talk today about the three most important things you can do uh, for your health and well-being uh, through the food you eat. So these are the three most impactful uh, elements of, of, of eating that numerous experts and research are pointing, pointing towards as being like what we should all be doing regardless. And these can take you a long way in improving your energy, your vitality, help clear up your mind, give you more um, focus, uh, help you lose weight if you're trying to lose weight, uh, they stave off disease. So there's just so many things, just pretty much every health indicator, these three things are core to doing it. There's lots of stuff we can do, but these are the, if you're going to do anything, do these three things. So first, sugar and simple and refined carbs uh, and flours. Cut these out of your diet. Uh, cut them way back at the very least. Sugar is one of the most anti-inflammatory uh, substances in existence. It spikes your blood sugar, creates insulin resistance. It just, the, the cascade of impacts that it has on your body in negative ways are so uh, profound. Um, the research is just really showing us that most modern disease, one of the biggest causes is uh, too much sugar in our diets. I'm not just talking like table sugar, uh, or high fructose corn syrup, which is one of the worst things. That's what you find in so many cheap processed foods, sodas, etc. But also, again, these refined carbs like uh, pastas and breads. These are there's nothing good about these things. They do provide some fuel for your body, but step two is going to tell us about a much better fuel for our body. So get those out. Try to cut them way, way back. Make them a special treat uh, in your life, not a, a staple for every single meal. Um, they're not doing you any good. Second thing is eat lots of good fat, good high quality fats. We're talking avocados, avocado oil, uh, olives, olive oil, coconut, coconut oil, um, uh, good quality pasture raised or grass fed animal fats are great. Uh, fish with omega-3, lots of omega-3 oils. We've all heard about that. It's a very anti-inflammatory fat. Uh, even like butter, uh, ghee is great. Um, these are all good quality whole food fats. What we don't want are these industrial seed vegetable oils uh, that have really cropped up in the last 50 or so years and were trumpeted forever as being a healthy alternative. And now what we know is they're not. They're huge drivers of disease. They make us feel bad. They screw with our energy. They make us gain weight. So I'm talking canola, safflower, uh, sunflower, corn, um, that whole list of these industrial seed vegetable oils. Drop them. They're not good for us. They're in all kinds of processed foods. And unfortunately, they are the predominant uh, fat used and oil used in deep frying, which makes them even worse because they oxidize, they create free radicals in our body, which we know are the causes of diseases like cancer. So we want to get fried foods out of our body. Everybody who, who fries any restaurant you go to, that's what they're going to use. And these oils are used over and over for days at a time, and they only get more and more oxidized as the days go. So drop those, but eat lots of good quality fats. That sh fat should really be the the, the source of fuel for most of our bodies, not sugar and carbs. That's a new phenomenon that we've made sugar and carbs the primary fuel for our uh, burning of energy every day. So third thing, many of us have heard this. It's so, so important. Eat lots of vegetables and some fruit. Uh, vegetables in particular, because they are lower in sugar than the fruit, um, are so important to our body. There's lots of micronutrients. Um, which, which, which do all kinds of great things. You've got vitamins and minerals, which of course we all know about, but there's tons of phytonutrients, antioxidants. The antioxidants literally grab onto the little free radicals in our body that are so unhealthy, and they usher them out of the body. I mean, that's just one of the amazing things that fruits and vegetables do. You should go for broke, six to 10 servings per day of vegetables and some fruit too. So just go to town on that. There's so many amazing things it does with our body. This was just a quick overview of the three most important steps. Um, you can learn more. You can go to my website, matthewalbrock.com. I'm writing a new book that's coming out in the next couple of months called Eat Your Way to Awesome, which is going to really dig into these three steps and some more stuff about how to live a really vibrant, healthy, happy, joyful life. So I hope this information has been helpful. It's just a teaser. Uh, but check out my website. You can learn more. You can follow me on Facebook. Um, and I'll be providing lots and lots of details on how you can live a really healthy, 
vibrant, happy, amazing life. Thanks so much. Take care.